Hi guys, welcome back to another flying video with Columbia 350. I know it's been a long time. I've had the, the plane in the shop for uh, almost four months. I'm glad to report we have a brand new engine, an IO 550 that's uh, been installed. Uh, we're in the break-in phase. It's an IO 550-N as in November, Continental. Um, I'll be describing some of the break-in procedures. And I'll also tell you how we went from the stock 310 horsepower up to 340 horsepower. We got an extra 30 horses in the dyno testing. So hop on board and I'll tell you more about it. Throttle is open, the rest we're going to do by memory. Clear prop. One, two, three, four. We're going to cycle the prop three times. One, two, and three times for the prop. So I always do final flow here is uh, green, blue, red, four door takeoff. So green is the indicating on the bright fuel tank, blue and red are the mixture in the prop. Takeoff is the takeoff position. The doors are closed and latched. Four rocker switches up. So we're gonna have to wait to fuck the mill. So he's turning right and then we got a guy on final here. So as soon as this guy gets out of our way, we'll be on our way. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo, taking runway 20, we got left crosswind departure and we have the departing traffic in sight, Watsonville. We're on the right, Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo on the roll, 20 left crosswind departure, Watsonville. All right, full power, airspeed's alive. We've got 50, 65, rotate. Like the fog's pretty far off. I'm out at 105. There's the downwind traffic. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo, left crosswind departing the area to the southeast, Watsonville. So we're going to do a 45 degree exit. Laps go up, pump, boost pump comes off. Power stays in, prop comes back to 25. Gauge the autopilot. Capture 2500. Okay, so we're uh, monitoring NorCal. And again, we're going to go up to 35. We're going to keep, we're shooting for 25, 25, and then we're going to lean to 125. Rich of peak. We'll do that once we get to our cruising altitude. We've got 500 feet to go. Top of cruise checklist. Landing lights off, mixture and props are in, flaps are up. Okay, I've just put in Salinas Tower just to hear what's going on down there. Okay, we're coming up on our cruise altitude 3500. We're 
gonna go right down the center of the valley. We've got about 50 gallons on board. We're gonna burn 20 there, 20 back, and leave 10 in the tank for reserve. So we'll go until we burn 20. So 50 down, we'll turn around at 30 gallons. Okay, our ground speed here is, um, I don't know if you can see this, our indicated airspeed is 163, our true airspeed is 178, and our ground speed is 186 because we're level profile. burning a lot of fuel. Okay, so we got 25, 25, that looks good. Now we can do our... Uh, We can uh, hit lean assist and go reach a peak. So we forgot to find the peak first, so we do that by leaning. You can see it's looking. Okay, first peak detected. Looking for the last peak. Let's let it find it. Oh, it's 83 degrees outside. Good thing I wore my shorts today. Okay, so last peak detected. Now we're going to go 125 rich. Could bring us back up to about 19. Okay, so guys, uh, my last flight, I was on the CHT-1. I was actually getting a false reading, and I had to turn the plane around after about 30 minutes into the flight. I had to take it into the shop, get that fixed. Thank you, Glenn, for doing that. And it appears to be running fine now, and I don't see that issue. What was going on was the carb heat number one was, uh, initially it was pegging 500 and red bar here, and then it was going down to zero, so I thought it was a short. I kept an eye on it. It actually uh, started indicating and give me a reading. At, then that's when I turned around when it was actually giving me an indication of 475, which is pretty darn hot. I was also monitoring the EGT in number one and it was not trending with the first cylinder. So I had some confidence at that point, but nonetheless, with a brand new engine, then just kind of wanted to play it safe. So I turned around, uh, this was a couple of days ago. Okay, best power, and we're at, we're showing 110-ish, one, 120. So it looks like I got some traffic orbiting here to my left at 11 o'clock. Not sure what he's doing, keep an eye on him. What he's doing is getting behind us pretty quickly, because our ground speed is now 191, true airspeed is 181, and he looks like a Cessna. Anyway, our waypoint today is a VOR called Avenel. I'm kind of paralleling the force here. There's a restricted area up here. That'll keep us clear of the restricted area. I mentioned that um, we got 30 more horsepower in the in the motor during the overhaul. We had the shop uh, hone and tune the injection system. When they did the dyno, they found that um, the uh, dyno checked in at 340. The Continental IO550-N is in November, is our engine type is spec for 310, 310. And uh, again, we we were able to get an extra 30 horsepower with that uh, procedure. So if that's something you're thinking about, I highly recommend it. If you have any details about the engine overhaul, any of the specifics, please leave comments below. I'm gonna start trying to grow my channel a little bit and providing better and more detailed content for other pilots and other interested aviators. I'm also going to leave in the link below the engine break-in procedure from Continental. It's a PDF file that's on the internet. Um, and again, it, it loosely follows what we're doing here today. It's those parameters in conjunction with what our mechanic recommended, which again is 25 inches of manifold pressure, 2,500 RPMs on the uh, prop pitch, and then uh, running the... the uh, the mixture at uh, about 125, rich a peak. And I, you, you can, I don't know if you can see the little tiny numbers down there, but it's showing up right around 120. So again, uh, welcome aboard. App, glad to be back in the plane. It's been a while. I was just about to finish up my commercial rating, and then uh, the new engine showed up. We had been waiting for six or seven months. So I had to pump the brakes on the, uh, on the commercial rating. 
so that we could uh, move forward with the engine replacement. Again, our flight strategy today is we had about 50 in the tank. We're going to burn 40, have 10 in reserve. So, like I say, when I burn 20, I'll flip it around. Coming up on uh, King City. Got the airport right in front of me. Got about a 13 knot tailwind. That's why we're ground speed is 190. 190 knots in miles per hour. That's about 117. 17 nautical miles. To our waypoint, Avenel. So we're on an easterly heading. See right here, 120 route. Which means we're going to do odd, uh, altitude odd plus 500, so that's 3,500. When we flip back, we'll be doing the reciprocal, so we'll go up to 4,500. I don't know if you can see the little red line, but there's a restricted area right here um, to my right. Uh, we're, I don't know, good. We're about uh, 15, 15 miles from it. Wow, look at that, 86 degrees out there. Crazy. For the citation to Alpha Romeo. Always a little bumpy in here. All right, my seatbelt. Oh boy, bumpy. All right, I'm gonna turn us around because, well, let's go into this valley for a minute. If the winds improve. All right, finally back in some smooth air. Got the iPad on my lap so it doesn't overheat. I moved the Stratus to the other side of the cockpit so it doesn't overheat. Now if I could just move the pilot to the other side of the airplane so he doesn't overheat, that would help. Because I'm right in the sun, <laughs> of course. It's 5.30, Tuesday, June 11th. All right, L5, airspeed, screaming fast. Landing lights on, mixture props are coming in. That's Watsonville, traffic, six Tango Alpha, short final, two zero Watsonville. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512, Romeo Beam, the river and the freeway will be making a 45 entry left traffic, two zero full stop Watsonville. And 6512 Romeo is looking for the traffic, and we are now turning left downwind over the, the slough, Watsonville. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo turning left base, 20, Watsonville. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo short and final, 20, full stop, Watsonville. Seems like there's a lot of wind. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo is clear of 20 at Echo, taxiing to the fuel pumps, Watsonville.